Now we have the bin to the Vac Lab stick vac. I know, I just can't really get over that name. So let's weigh it. Everything's clean, empty, and we're going to start out with 358.18 grams. Welcome, whole house carpet cleaning aficionados. Let's do a thousand square feet whole house carpet cleaning with this Vac Lab brand stick vac. And what's so unusual about it is that it has a brush roll that's very different than the vast majority of brush rolls that go on a typical bare floor stick vac or just stick vacs in general. So let's see if this carpet friendly brush roll actually makes a difference. And while we're at it, we will see how long the battery lasts. So I've got to run this in low power, otherwise I won't have enough juice to make it all the way through. And off we go. You don't have to hold the trigger. One push is all you need.
it's certainly easy to maneuver and the overall weight on your wrist is I'd say about average or possibly a little lighter than average obviously it would go underneath all this furniture I'm currently bypassing I'll have Mrs. Vaclab do all that in one of her videos just trying to keep it to a thousand square feet for easy comparison it's got a little bit of a high-pitched noise I think probably will come through on the audio track I think it's from the cyclonic assembly and of course you can definitely hear the agitation of the brush roll spinning that's probably the most unusual sound that you get from a machine like this
If you want to see the carpet lines, they certainly do exist. They're, they're light, they're gentle, but they are there. All right, let's keep going. up against the wall and open the door without that falling yes okay don't fall that would be really embarrassing Goes over grates pretty well. On to the green room.
So I am down to one light. Start out with three. So we'll see how long that one light lasts. Sometimes it's a really, really long time. But I have a whole other floor to go. Let's take a quick look and see what we have so far just for the second floor. And unfortunately, that big yellow label kind of blocks a lot, but hopefully you can see that. There. There's the blob. <laughs> Maybe that's the best way to view it. Okay, let's continue down on the first floor. And as usual, we have my wife's two-foot-long hair wrapping up in that brush roll, but it's pretty easy to pick out. For my eagle-eyed viewers, in the time that it took me to change all the lighting from the second floor to the first floor, the battery actually bumped back up to two lights. So that can happen sometimes. It really was down to one. And I didn't charge it, that's for sure. So obviously this would go underneath everything. It's got a very small power nozzle. It's not tall at all. Fits everywhere. It's kind of hard not to go underneath stuff. And it's pretty controllable too. It's not wild and all over the place. It doesn't sit perfectly flat though. You have to go at an angle if you go really, really low with your wand. It won't go straight down. Nice to be able to get that small area. Can't do that with a full size vacuum. Too big. OK, 
Okay. Now, I, I noticed that Rosie is blocking my path at the moment. Oh, good, she just moved. <laughs> she was right there, and then she decided to move. Let's see, does it do well, uh, carpet dent? Yeah, a little, a little. Better than some. Those carpet dents. Battery's still holding in. I think it'll definitely make it. I'll show you what I have to do in order to go completely flat. So if I want to go flat, I see it just lifts up, so I have to angle it. But it works, but you, you have to go at an angle. And then you're okay. gone back down now to one light. Let's see how long this lasts. Okay, we have one blinking light now, so it's going to stop any minute. So will it make it? Well, 
almost done. made it so fantastic on low I know that there's enough juice in this thing to handle a thousand square feet of carpet so now let's go and see how much dirt comes out of that bin I can't wait to find out what we were able to pick up looks like it's pretty good make sure that's stopped wiggling and I'll call it at 362.96 whether it wiggles a little bit more or not and subtract 358.18 and we have a raw bin pickup of 4.78 grams and that's excellent all things considered but now let's see if we can manage to extract from this bin Sometimes it's nice to wait for my heater to go off. A nice little blob. Okay, so I think that's all that most people would really bother with. Um, you can take this cyclonic assembly further apart, obviously, but I don't think people are going to normally do that every single time. So you know, you know what's nice that I see? I see fine dust pickup. Now it's not a whole lot, but it's some. And I guarantee you that is specifically from that more aggressive brush roll. All right, time to play with the dirt. So let's see. Fibrous material, <laughs> kind of hard to separate that. All right, first blob. Second blob. Okay, getting up there. It's a little more fibrous material. Yeah, that is fiber, isn't it? Okay, let's keep going. It's a mix of stuff that's in there, obviously. Can't separate it real well. Okay, I'm going to keep going. It's still kind of clumpy, isn't it? All right. I'm still going to call most of that fibrous material. Here's a, looks like a blade of grass, I think. Something like that. Some other type of debris. And the rest we'll call, like, say, medium to large dust. So we're almost at 3.9 grams. Let's bring it on over here. For a total extracted amount... Total extracted amount of almost, <laughs> a little dusty there, almost four and a quarter. All right, that's that's still really fantastic. So we'll I'll call it at 4.23 grams. Incidentally, I just looked up on my ever-growing spreadsheet, and the fact that this particular machine gets an extracted amount of over four grams puts it into a top tier for a stick vac category. So this machine now joins my top tier stick vacs, which include a Dream Tech, a Kaival, and a Musu. So welcome Vac Lab to a top tier stick vac pickup on medium pile flow through carpet. Now we've got to take a look at how to get all the hair out of that brush roll. So let's see, is there an easy way to remove the brush roll? Yes, and it's toolless. You've got this little red button right here. You push that, piece pops up, and then this just pulls right out. 
you can get to it. Nice. I really like toolless brush roll access. So I'm also going to pop off this end cap. I want to be careful because there's, well, you have a bearing in there that's not going to pop off, but also it looks like there's uh, a little sleeve kind of washer in there. And I don't want that to go flying off either. And we will um, talk about maintaining that bearing with this after I remove the hair. Now, Vac Lab gives you this tool here. So you've got a plastic kind of a hook, and there is a little razor blade right there. So notice that there's also grooves. So let me use this and see how well that actually works. All right, that, that's okay. That works. So it's cutting the hair. That's it. Just kind of going around here, seeing if I can just kind of grab it. It's a lot of hair that builds up if you have it. Now, if you don't have my wife's two foot long hair, it's not going to, uh, it's not really going to matter much, this particular procedure. But you can certainly use this. And you've got a little brush. You can, you know, clean some fine dust off of various parts of the machine. So it's nice to have that. We've seen that for a lot of different machines. Okay, now that I've hopefully broken the hair up into smaller pieces, let me see if I can get most of that off. You can also use a small pair of scissors as well. Ah, that's coming off nicely. But yep, you're going to need to check your brush roll every time you use this thing. Unless you know you don't have any hair. So, about lubricating the bearing, eh, it really is going to depend on your environment. Maybe every 10 or 20 hours of use. Maybe something less than that. If you notice, the brush roll seem to get a little louder than normal. You know, just kind of pay attention to the noise that it makes. Then you could go and give it just a little bit of that oil. Notice that's blue can three in one. It's meant for high speed applications. Could you use the red can three in one? Well, I mean, since this brush roll spins less than 3000 RPM, as we found out in an earlier video, probably, but since it spins at several thousand RPM, I kind of would still recommend that you use the, the blue can. And you could also probably get a little bit of that magic blue electric motor bearing grease by mobile that you see in a lot of my videos but it's got to be very very thin thin grease preferably really oil i mean this is a kind of bearing that really does prefer a super light oil but you can substitute a grease but it's got to be super super lightweight you do not want to put thick grease on this this is a not a high torque item there look at that nice little blob right there. So what I'm going to do is just put a drop. Once I get this thing open without squirting anything. I'll just put a drop in here. Just put it on the edge. There. It's really all you need. And then you put that back in. There. Snaps back on. All right. Fantastic. And now I'll put this back. So you have a little alignment. Make sure this one, and there you go, fits right in. Slides down, click, and then get that ugly hair out of the way. And then you're ready to continue vacuuming. And we need to continue vacuuming because we have to find out just how long the battery lasts. We have a little bit of extra battery life. So let's continue and find out how long this lasts in low power mode.
and that's it. Okay, so the light blinked for a little bit, and then and then quit. So it was just enough to handle the the whole house carpet cleaning. All right, fantastic. Hey, thanks so much for watching, and stay tuned for more.